Hey guys, Versus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 Blueprints creation series and in today's episode we're going to be showing you how to create this very basic simple uh, minimap system inside of the engine. So as you can see when I run around you can see it's, there is a little follow camera in the top left hand corner and that pretty much shows us a top down perspective of the character, um, you know, similar to a you know, a minimap. It's just a basic system for creating, you know, something like a minimap. Anyway, it's completely live. Um, it just uses a render target um, to actually capture the scene. And then we essentially just turn that into a 2D UI texture and then just put it into our HUD. It's quite simple, really. And hopefully by the end of the tutorial, you should be able to create something similar. Anyway, so without further ado, let's just go ahead and open up what I've got now and we're going to try and break it down for you so you can see exactly what we've got here. So if we go to our viewport, I've just got my character, my third person character here, and then inside of that I've got a little camera for the minimap and a scene capture component. And this essentially just um, renders out a texture by you know taking an image from the camera rendering it out into a texture and putting it wherever it's uh you know wherever you define so in this case it's going to be the minimap texture target and then with that minimap texture target over here i've converted it into a material and inside that and using that material i've essentially just put it onto an image inside of the hut now for this tutorial you're going to need to have a hud set up already if you don't go ahead and check out the video in the top left showing you how you can create a hud class a hud widget and get it displayed onto the screen anyway so uh let's get let's dive in and get started so first things first you need to figure out where you want to you know capture the image for the minimap from in my case i'm going to have it attached to the camera if you wanted to, you could just make it a blueprint class and then put it into the scene. But for me, because I want it to follow the camera, I'm going to put it inside of there. So let's get this started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, go ahead and add a new camera. Go over to the viewport, go to add component and just add in a camera. Nice and simple. Now, you may want to position that... Um, you know, above the player, but I'll show you how to do that in a second. The next thing we need to do is add a scene capture component 2D. Just go down to, just go up to component, type that in and get it in there. Drag the scene capture component onto the camera to attach it. So now they both move together. And now we just need to go ahead and position this. So I'm going to rotate it so it's looking down. And then I'm also going to move it up all the way up here just like that once you've done that just go over to your content browser and we've got to set up the texture now I've already got one here so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete these there you go force delete and I'm gonna create a new render target to do that just go to your content browser right click materials and texture and just go ahead and create a new render target once you've done that, you may need to open it up and adjust the compression settings. This is so that it knows what type of texture it should be and, you know, set up everything so it can be displayed accordingly. We're going to be using this on the user interface. So go ahead and go down to compression, compression settings and change this to user interface 2D. Go ahead and save that. And you may want to rename that to whatever you want, really. I'm going to rename this to minimap underscore texture now with our third person character again or the character blueprint wherever you're storing all this stuff go to your scene capture component and where it says texture target you need to go ahead and select your minimap texture drag it in there and it should now render out that image from the scene component and uh, put it into the texture you can also adjust a bunch of settings for field of view post-processing and a whole bunch of other stuff but I'm just gonna leave that how it is for now I'm gonna quickly press play jump into the scene and just check that it actually updates everything also if you have issues where it tries to you know take take over the camera the one you set up for the minimap you just need to adjust some settings inside your camera so go to camera and just turn off auto activate so it can't actually go and uh, you know, take control of it, but it's still going to be updating the texture. 
Anyway, the next thing we need to do now is create a material that can actually be used on your HUD widget. So just right click the texture, go to create material, call it whatever you want really. I'm just going to open that up and I'm going to make sure the base color is hooked up to the diffuse in the first little pin here. And the first pin also needs to be hooked up to the emissive. Now the reason I'm doing this is just to make it show a little bit better. So I'm going to press apply and that's done. Now. As I showed you in the HUD tutorial, you can, uh, you're can you going to need to have a HUD widget. I've already got one if you want to know how to make it. Like I said, once again, just go ahead and check out part one of my uh, heads up display creation videos. So inside of here, we need to add in an image. This image is going to be the minimap and it's essentially what we're going to place our, you know, render target onto. So just go over to the palette, go to image drag one in and then just position it wherever you want. For me, I'm just going to put that in the top left hand corner. And where it says image under the details panel here, I'm going to go ahead and set this to minimap. Minimap underscore texture underscore matte. And it should be blank for this for a second and, and then it should update and you can see it should all be live. So if I go ahead and press play, you can see it's all updating now, it's all working, and we've got a basic minimap. If I go ahead and jump down here, you can see all of my little AI following me, and it's a great basis for uh, a minimap system for your game. Anyway, that is pretty much everything I wanted to show you in this tutorial. Thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.